Hi booktube! Thought I would come to you today with a weekend reads video. Uh, here in the estates it is Memorial Day weekend, so it is a long weekend. Um, most people have at least a Monday off if they are currently working given uh, the current situation. Um, so a lot of people have a three-day weekend. Um, a lot of people are going to be celebrating as best they can given what's going on. In my state, the stay-at-home restrictions have been lifted and you can have gatherings of like 15 people or something. Um, so there'll probably be people actually like having some type of gathering and seeing friends. Um, so that's, that's nice. Uh, anyway, enough about the stupid coronavirus. I'm so tired of it. I wish it would go away. Let's talk about what I am currently reading. So the first thing I'm currently reading is one of my maybe Midrash books. And uh, if you don't know what maybe Midrash is, it's a readathon that's going on throughout the month of May where you read books uh, that have to do with religion in some form, both fiction and nonfiction books. And it can be any type of religion, Christianity, Judaism, Islam, any of those types of religions. Uh, and I chose to read something a little outside the box, uh, and this is Standing in the Light, My Life as a Pantheist by Sharman Aft Russell. And pantheism is basically where you believe that there isn't like a, a god as in like the Christian god. You believe that nature is sort of infused by... Um, I don't know if infused is the right word, but they, the God is in nature, right? You you see and find spirituality in nature. You don't necessarily worship nature, but it's sort of your, um, the, the way you find peace. Anyway, so this is just a lovely book so far. I've, I've been really enjoying it. Uh, there's a lot of nature writing in here, as well as uh, talking about pantheism and there's philosophy and just a whole w range of information. Um, I actually kind of know Sharman Aft Russell. She came to my university when I was an undergrad as a like a visiting writer. Um, and then I've also read several of her other books. Um, one was for a nature writing class that I took when I was an undergrad. And she's friends with one of my professors from college. Uh, one of my creative writing professors, they worked at Antioch together in LA. And so it's cool to read more by her and I'm really enjoying this so far. Um, so yeah, that's Standing in the Light by My Life as a Pantheist by Sharman Apt Russell. Next book I'm reading is uh, one that I talked about in a currently reading video just a few days ago. Um, and I'm still making my way through it. The text is small and it's pretty dense and that is Margaret Fuller, A New American Life, um, and of course Margaret Fuller was a woman intellectual uh, and she was also sort of a trail, trailblazing writer. Um, she was Thoreau's editor uh, and a close friend of Emerson and she had to fight this battle of being a woman at a time where if you were intellectual and wanted to be a writer and live a life of the mind as a woman, that was not necessarily seen as a good path for you. And so this book, it looks at her life and it's really fascinating. But like I said, the text is tiny and it's pretty dense in terms of everything that it talks about. I mean, it's not hard to understand, but it's just one of those books that I have to sort of take my time with because it, it talks about a lot of different things, not just about her life, but about, you know, the various things she was interested in um, and everything like that. I'm really enjoying it, but again, like I said, I'm, I'm taking my time with it due to the fact that there, that the text is so small and the, the topic sometimes can be a lot to take in purely for the amount of information that is being discussed. All right, and then another book I'm reading, um, this is one I hauled in a book haul a few weeks ago, and I just started this, I've only read the first chapter, and that is like a Sword Wound by Ahmet Alton. This is a novel from a Turkish author. Um, and don't really have much to say about this yet because I've only read the first chapter and I'm not really sure where it's going, but I'm really hoping I'll enjoy it. It's part of a quartet um, from Europa Press. And so 
I'm hoping I'll enjoy it so I can read the other books as they come out. Um, but anyway, hoping I'll enjoy this, uh, Like a Sword Wound by Ahmet Alton. And then the book that I swear I've showed in every, like, currently reading video or whatever is Lost Future of Pepper Harrow by Natasha Pulley. It's not that I'm not enjoying this, I just seem to not pick it up, which is crazy considering how fast I read The Watchmaker of Filigree Street and was so excited about this. I really need to get on reading this. I have read more since I last showed this book. I've read past the prologue this time, so that's good. Um, but yeah, I really just need to sit down and read this because it'll be a quick read once I get started. Um, but I don't know what my problem is. I've been trying to finish up some other shorter books first and then also, of course, reading for maybe Midrash. So this has kind of gotten put off to the side, even though I really do want to read it. So, yeah. And, like, and if you didn't know, this is the direct sequel to uh, The Watchmaker of Filigree Street. Um, and it follows the same characters and it's set in Japan um, rather than in England. And then the last book I am slowly, slowly making my way through, even slower than the Margaret Fuller book, is The Giant Beast that is the New Testament and its World by N.T. Wright. I don't have the dust jacket on it, but this is The Beast. It's over a thousand pages. It was a recommendation from Steve Donahue. Um, and I have been reading this slowly, can, taking it all in. I'm on chapter seven right now. Um, the last chapter that I read was a lot of history about the Jewish context of Jesus and the early church, which was really fascinating. I really enjoyed it. So, like I said, I just take this in bits. I, I don't, you know, like, gobble it all up really quickly because... It's just so fascinating, and like I showed in a previous video, you know, it has pictures and illustrations in it. Um, so it's just so fun to read because it has so much information, and then the, the pictures and everything are just fabulous. And so I'm not going to finish this one in May by any stretch of the imagination, but I am just enjoying taking my time with it um, because it is just such a neat book. Um, and I'm looking forward to reading through more of this. So that is what I'm currently reading. Uh, I have a couple other books I would like to start once I finish, like, uh, Standing in the Light. And um, maybe even, like, Margaret Fuller. One of the books that I want to reread for a read-along that's coming up is um, Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. This is a read-along that is stretching over months that's going to read Way of Kings, Words of Radiance, and Oathbringer in preparation for the fourth book in the Stormlight Archive coming out in November. It actually comes out on my birthday, I think. I remember it correctly. Anyway, I want to participate in that because Horror of Horrors, I still have not read Oathbringer. So I'm hoping that this read-along will force me to get to Oathbringer. I keep putting it off because it is massive. I have it back here, but I'm not going to grab it. Um... Anyway, so that is one of the books I want to start uh, probably at the beginning of June. And then another book I would like to start, which is also fairly chunky, is the second book in Robin Hobbs' um, Live Ship Traders trilogy. I've read the first one quite a while ago, and I want to finish that trilogy um, and move on to the next trilogy of hers. So I would like to get started on that one as well. I just need to buckle down and do some reading. I mean, I have been, but I always want to be outside or visiting people now that I feel like I can more easily do things than I could prior to uh, here recently. And so, yeah, I haven't necessarily always wanted to be reading, but um, it's supposed to be getting hotter and we're also supposed to have some rainy weather coming up this week. So... That will impede my being outdoors, so maybe I will get some more reading done and make some more progress on the books I am reading. Um, anyway, so that is really all I have to say in this video. I hope you all are well, and I will be coming back to you soon with another video, probably my wrap-up for maybe Midrash. Um, and until then, I will see you soon. Bye, booktube.